What up guys and welcome back to the Fitman Cook Kitchen. Got a fun video for y'all today. If you do not know, besides food, the other things that gives me a lot of joy are kicks. I have close to 300 pair and each year I just collect them and I also give a large portion of them away. Now if you are a sneakerhead then you know how difficult it is to get your hands on some of those exclusive pairs of shoes. But and I've got one of the hottest drops of the summer. I'm talking about the Cafe Du Monde collab with Sneaker Politics to give us sneakerheads so much joy. And I'm gonna tell you, I saw these online for the first time and I was just drooling, literally. At the thought first off of the Cafe Du Monde beignets, but also just the unique colorway. And that's what I really love about sneakers and fashion is that you can get inspiration from almost anywhere. And as a foodie, <laughs> I love to take inspiration from food and have that influence fashion, but I also like when fashion can influence food. So today, I wanna to share with y'all this unboxing. This is the hoodie pullover. First off, I can't wear it right now in the summertime just because it's so hot here in Texas. And then this is a the hoodie sweatshirt, oh man, that's dope. With the politics and the Cafe Du Monde. Now, if you've ever been, been to New Orleans, then you should know about Cafe Du Monde. It is a world-class and world-renowned monument. People from all around the world come to sit there in this cafe up under this beautiful green and white canopy, the same green right here, just to enjoy delicious beignets. And now, the moment I've been waiting for, oh, I have not opened this box yet. I've been so excited to do this just on camera. So let's get to it. Oh my God. <laughs> These are so dope. They're so dope. Here we have the green canopy that overlooks you know, the coffee shop. Here is the beignet. We're gonna call this uh, beignet brown and then it's covered in powdered sugar. Sneaker Politics is one of my favorite sneaker stores. When I saw that they were able to go ahead and do this collab, I just knew that I had to get my hands on a pair. And thankfully, I was one of the lucky less than 200, less than 160 of us in the world are able to get the powdered sugar Cafe Du Monde Sneaker Politics Saucony Shadow 5000 collab. Okay, let's get started. Now, let me just first say there is nothing out there that will replace an amazing Cafe Du Monde beignet, but we're gonna try to get darn close to it from a calorie conscious standpoint. So first, starting out here with some all-purpose white flour, and I recommend using the white flour and not the wheat flour because beignets are really light, and if you use the wheat, it's gonna become really, really dense. So we're gonna do a little bit of white flour, I'm also gonna mix in some almond flour, and use a fork just to knead out all of the clumps here. To this, we're gonna add in some baking powder and then a pinch of salt and mix everything together. Next, we're gonna take some Greek yogurt. You can also use plain yogurt, but I love to use the Greek yogurt. It's higher in protein and add this in there just like this and add a little bit of vanilla extract as well and stir and mix everything together. Use a spatula and just kind of mash and mix and it should come out looking like a real dough. <laughs> Get yourself a clean surface. Sprinkle on just a little bit of flour here. You can use the almond flour, or you can use the white flour. And we're gonna take our dough, put it right here on top. Roll it around here. And we're gonna keep doing this until it's not as sticky. And uh, admittedly, I'm not the best baker, so people who are probably cringing right now watching me, but you know what? I make do, I get it done. And you wanna do this until the dough is no longer sticky until it's not sticking to your hands or the cutting board. And this is just about right, right here. So, now you can make the beignet shape. I think what's easier, because again, I'm not the best baker, and I wanna mess this up, just to create small balls. <laughs> so we're gonna create little donut holes. Pinch off a little bit of it, about the size of maybe a golf ball. Roll it up, just like this, and set it aside. And repeat. All right, just like that. Now, add these to your air fryer basket. I'm gonna give them one quick final light spray of oil. Now, we're gonna air fry these. You can go with a temperature between 375 and 400, but cook these no more than eight minutes or so, and you may need to monitor them in case you need to flip them halfway through. Yeah, wow. Just that easy. Eight minutes, you see there's a little bit of color on them. Now, if they look a little bit undercooked, that's actually a good thing. You don't wanna overcook these because then you'll turn them into 
just like really hard bread. It's a little bit crisp, but also really, really tender to touch. So I just cannot wait to eat one of these because I know they're gonna be amazing. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just gonna stack these up, pile these high, because you know what comes next. If you haven't been to Nolens, then you know. That's right, the powdered sugar comes next. And we're gonna be using a little bit of monk fruit sweetener. You can also use some swerve. What I like about this is that it's super low calorie. It's low glycemic. In fact, this is zero glycemic. And so you'll get a lot of sweetness without all of the calories. And this type of sweetener too is actually keto friendly. So do is just, oh my gosh. <laughs> How beautiful is this? And they pile it on. Have you ever been to Cafe Du Monde? They do not spare. And you're done. Mmm. Looks amazing. All right, now I'm going to attempt to taste one of these. Now, I don't want to spill the powdered sugar on the, on the kicks, but it's okay. Just break open just like that. Really smooth. It's not hard at all. Yo, ma'am. I'm so proud of myself. We did the kicks justice. Mmm. Dope kicks and dope food. There you have it. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. So besides food, kicks bring me a lot of joy. So I wanna give a huge shout out to one of my favorite sneaker shops, Sneaker Politics. Again, I've been following y'all for so long and I just love this collab. This is the type of thoughtfulness and creativity that I, as a sneakerhead, would love to see from other sneaker shops around the world. Kudos to y'all. If you like videos like this, then I invite y'all to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post hot new content. Seriously guys, don't walk, don't skip. I want y'all to run, sprint to the store right now to grab these three, four ingredients to make up these beignet balls that we just made right here. Okay, do you want? Do you want regret it? Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! See y'all.